I'd like you to join me on a journey through the most unique total photographic system ever made. It's the completely automatic new Spectra system from Polaroid. Let's go inside. Simply press the shutter and two separate systems measure me and the background for light. I'm also automatically measured by sonar for distance. And in one twentieth of a second, an amazing new lens automatically snaps my image into sharp focus. Now the flash goes on. And my precisely measured smiling face hurtles through space down onto a brilliant new Polaroid film. A churning molecular sea of stunning new colors that will result in a brilliant new Polaroid picture. A larger, more beautiful picture. Picture after picture. And I'm able to do all this simply by doing this. The new Polaroid Spectra system. We take your pictures seriously. What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do something really cool. We're gonna shoot portraits with my friend Madison on the Polaroid Spectra. All right, so how we're gonna open this is pull this arrow back. It'll open for you. And to get the film in, there's a lever on this side right there. We're just gonna press that, and it opens up for us. And we're gonna take the film and open it. And you don't need a battery for this camera. The battery is the film. If you look on here, it says insert film this side up. Do not remove the dark side, it protects your film from light. Now open this up. It's already an old one in there. It's the battery voltage, which I think in the spectras, maybe the capacitor is like old, so it needs more juice. Right now I'm having issues with getting the dark slide to eject, which is what protects the film from exposure and light leaks. And so I'm watching a little tutorial right now to fix that, because that's a fucking problem. So essentially something within the camera or within the film wasn't compatible and it didn't work out. I'm really upset because I was looking forward to that shoot with Madison. We are rescheduling it and it'll be in a future vlog, so look out for that. For the rest of this video, I'm just gonna give you a little life update. And I'm also going to tell you what I've been listening to and what I've been reading. Since the last time I posted, I took a trip to Colorado. I visited my friend Kramer. It was incredible. We did some hiking. We just explored the town and towns around it, which was really neat. I took some pictures there. Um, I got a lot of film that I still need to develop, actually. It's kind of embarrassing. We got quite a lot. But uh, there's a lot of rules in there that date actually all the way back to 2017, believe it or not. Um, but there's some from Colorado in there and once I get those developed they will be on my Instagram page Which is linked down below. Also, I moved in with my friends Jared. Hey, and Jason Hey. Now on to what I've been reading recently. Let's start off with uh, Familiar Subjects by Norman Locks He took Polaroids that he had from an SX70 camera and he used different utensils to make artwork on them It's a great coffee table book or something to look at when you just need a little inspiration especially if you're an instant film photographer or an artist Next book is The Americans by Robert Frank. What he did is travel all across America and take some photos. When the book was first released, it actually got pretty bad reviews. Um, but as time went on, it kind of became a cult classic and people began to love it. Anywhere you go or look, you will see Robert Frank style photos. He's an inspiration for myself and a lot of other photographers. I definitely recommend getting this book. Now on to music. I've been listening to a lot of James Blake. He just dropped a new album recently called Assume Form. My favorite tracks off of it are Can't Believe the Way We Flow and Lullaby for an Insomniac. I think this is his best work yet. A lot of his older work is a little more minimal. And I think this is more maximal. The vocal effects, the features, all of it just makes it a really great album. The next artist is Nick Drake. He is a folk singer songwriter from the late 60s to the early 70s. He actually passed away in 1974 at the age of 26 from a drug overdose. He's very much a mystery. There are no video recordings of him, but thankfully there's music. He has three albums out. My favorite album by him is Pink Moon, which came out in 1972. It's a very bare and simple album, but it's very beautiful. My favorite tracks off it are Pink Moon and Place to Be. The last artist I'm gonna talk about is essentially my age. I'll be 23 in June. He's 23 now. His name is Culture Wall. He's from Saskatchewan, Canada and he is a kind of outlaw slash folk country artist. 
not your traditional country, and I am not a fan of country by any means, but surprisingly I got into his stuff really easily, and he has this deep, gravelly, unique voice. He sounds like a 60 year old, you know, outlaw country singer in a 23 year old's body. And he's really magnificent at guitar, very soulful, very good writing. Highly suggest checking him out. My favorite tracks by him are off his debut EP, Imaginary Appalachia. One of them is Sleeping on the Blacktop, and the other is The Devil Wears a Suit and Tie. Incredible tracks. It kind of reminds me of like Johnny Cash mixed with Towns Van Zant and stuff like that. Even if you're not into country, check him out. You might like it. That's it for vlog number two. Thanks for sticking around and watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. One last thing, I have a little contest for you guys. I have a Minolta Hymatic AF2 and I'm going to give it away. This camera is a 35 millimeter point and shoot. It's very light, it's very easy to hold, it has a strap with it. I also have a case if you'd like that. The film it uses is 35 millimeter film. You can get the batteries for it at places like Walmart and CVS and Walgreens and stuff like that. They're very cheap and they are the AA 1.5 volt batteries. All you have to do to win this camera is subscribe and follow me on Instagram, which is linked down below. After you follow me on Instagram, find the photo of this camera and leave a comment on what you love about photography. Thank you guys again for watching and next time I see you, I'm hopefully gonna have a working camera and working film. In the meantime, everything that I mentioned in this video from the music, the books, the film, the camera is going to be down below in the description. See you guys next time.